This morning, San Diego City and school leaders are highlighting a new law aimed at preventing teen smoking. So this is the SAFE Act that's been now enacted into law. It bans the sale of certain tobacco products in the city. And CBS 8's Chris Grove joins us live with the message these leaders want to get out there to parents. Chris. Yeah, the message is really clear here. The SAFE Act is hopefully going to help curb underage users from accessing these vaping products because they will no longer be able to be sold. But at the same time, as local leaders pointed out, more still needs to be done. But there's still more work we need to do to protect kids from the ads and the target of big tobacco. And part of that work is educating our parents, our teachers, our school district to make sure that they know that there's tools to combat vaping. And so the SAFE Act stands for Stop Adolescent Addiction to Flavored E-Cigarettes Act. Now, how is that going to curb those that vape at a young age? Well, the SAFE Act bans flavored vapes, flavored cigarillos, and menthol cigarettes from being sold at stores, at convenience stores, or even tobacco stores. Now, a number of other items are still going to be allowed to be sold, like cigars, hookah, or other flavored loose-leaf tobacco. Now, the reason why this is going into effect is because we've seen teen vaping go very much on the rise since 2017 in the um, in the wake of those being introduced. In fact, according to a 2021 National Youth Tobacco Survey, 2 million kids used e-cigarettes and 85% used flavored products. Now, we did hear from a San Diego high school student who talked about teens that he knows how they use vapes and how he thinks that some measures that are in place right now are just simply not working. So eventually we have to ask ourselves, what is the root problem? And what I think we've found is we see access as that root problem. It is technically illegal to sell e-cigarettes to minors. It was illegal before this ban, but that doesn't mean that that's actually being enforced. And when I think about what the SAFE Act does, I'm thinking about the fact that there was a recognition that a new step needed to be taken. So this will go into effect on January 1st. It was just passed about a month ago, signed uh, into law just a short time ago. So today was really a chance for both the school leaders here at San Diego Unified, as well as some of the city council leaders that you just heard from there uh, to come together and actually, again, plead with parents to be on the lookout for these flavored products, especially when it comes to underage users.